Hi guys, thanks for coming back in this video. I just want to give you my opinion about this crazy Bitcoin price prediction 67,193. First of all, very stupid number. We're gonna see where this number comes from. Laughable, but anyway, from a veteran crypto trader. Now, when it comes to this video and pretty much every video that I make, I'm just giving you my opinion. I'm not giving you any financial advice or I'm not telling you what you should really do because as we all know when it comes to cryptocurrency we can hardly get it right long term especially now a veteran crypto trader has come up with this price personally to me it's a bull price but he's coming from a 33,000 of gold held by the central banks by bitcoin's total number of 21 million coins now if you are familiar with bitcoin or you know about bitcoin pretty much uh, everyone knows that he's probably watching this video, uh, we all know that there are not longer 21 million Bitcoins. It's been like this for quite some time. Yes, we do have that number on the coin market cap and we know that on the Satoshi paper, that's the amount of Bitcoins we had to begin with, but we no longer have, have them. So therefore you can't really calculate Bitcoin price by a number that doesn't exist anymore. And I say it doesn't exist because as we are aware, about 30 to 40% of Bitcoins are lost for good. They are not coming back, uh, you know, we don't know where, you know, where they are. Uh, many have been thrown in the rubbish uh, and whatnot, and they're not coming back. This number will continue also to increase, not at, at such a staggering amount of percentage, because these days people are a lot more careful how they store their Bitcoins. Back in the days, Bitcoin was worth nothing. People had thousands of Bitcoins, but they just did not pay attention to it because it was worth pretty much nothing. Now people do take care of how they store their Bitcoin, but we are going to continue having this occurring. Um, just as of recently, Quadrica CX CEO died, apparently, I don't know. And some Bitcoins probably would never come back uh, from the death with him. Uh, so therefore, again, we have some Bitcoins lost. This will continue to be in the future. I'm sure there's going to be people that are going to lose their private keys, for example. Some people may pass away uh, that uh, uh, nobody knows about their Bitcoins. Bitcoins goes away with them. I don't know. But these numbers will slightly increase by the time all Bitcoins are mined. So the number is complete rubbish. Now, we are in a way hoping that the next bull run is just around the corner and uh, we are getting this price prediction once again just like back in 2017 but because of these price predictions i feel like that's why we are in this situation right now where 95 percent of the people that got into cryptocurrency in 2017 are now holding bags because first we started to believe these prominent traders big names in the space uh, telling us that Bitcoin is going to be worth uh, 20, well, it was worth 20,000, but uh, 40,000, 50,000, 100,000, 200,000, half a million, 1 million. And of course, alongside that, greed kicked in. And when Bitcoin jumped from 800 at the beginning of January 2017 to 20,000 in 2017, people didn't sell because people, as I mentioned, believed in these predictions because they were coming from these powerful names. Uh, and they just kept holding and you know the rest <laughs> people are holding bitcoin at 3800 instead of selling it at 20000 which is a staggering amount of profits and now are hoping that the price is going to jump but now we're going to have these names again popping in making some far fetched prediction which person if uh, i'm going to be honest with you i don't know it may happen it may not happen because when it comes to cryptocurrency it's the wild wild west we've seen some crazy things happening I don't see Bitcoin being worth 67,000, at least not in the next bull run. I don't see Bitcoin being worth 50,000 simply because I don't think we can repeat 2017 again, uh, simply because I believe people are going to start selling if Bitcoin, uh, you know, start, uh, in, you know, reaching 15,000, 20,000, 67,000 is far away. But as the argument goes, uh, if Bitcoin can be worth $1 and you ask why should Bitcoin be worth $1, you can do the same and say why Bitcoin shouldn't be worth 67000 either. So yes, it could be worth uh, either of them. I don't see it happening. And I just feel like uh, this manipulation from certain individuals 
uh, you know, making these numbers, it's coming along and certain people will probably once again get burned. Uh, and when I say get burned is, yes, we also have this argument, well, if you didn't sell, you didn't lose, but let's be honest, if Bitcoin goes to 20K and you didn't sell and now Bitcoin is at 3K, in a way you lost because you didn't sell because if you sold at 20K, you could buy back at 30K uh, your original Bitcoins and then, like, for example, buy even more Bitcoins or maybe cash out, I don't know. But let me show you some other price predictions and that's why I also don't believe these people because they're just throwing numbers. Now, if let's say a million people we get together and we're all asked to write a Bitcoin price uh, in for the next two years, everyone's gonna probably write a certain number. And after two years, if we look at all these one million people prediction, maybe some people will get it right. But that's not because they knew what the price is gonna be, but it was just a luck. Um, BitMEX CEO, for example, predicted that Bitcoin is going to be worth 40k 2018. It didn't happen. Uh, 50k, sorry. Mike Novogratz predicted Bitcoin is going to be worth 40k in December of 2018. Well, it didn't happen. John McAfee, he's been crazy with his prediction. He's supposed to be eating certain parts of his body. I don't know. I don't care about this anyway. Uh, but he predicts that Bitcoin is going to be worth a million before start of 2021. Crazy to think about it. I don't see it happening, but hey, there you have it. Now, lucky for John McAfee, he still uh, hasn't got it wrong, simply because 2021 hasn't come along. But I, I got a feeling he will get it wrong as well. So as you can see, just few individuals, which are powerful names in the space, have got it wrong. And they will probably continue to get it wrong. And as I mentioned, I feel like these numbers are only thrown out there so people believe in these numbers, greed kicks in, they keep holding, and when these people are happy with where the price is at the next bull run, they start unloading, at the same time they're throwing higher numbers for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency, for example. People keep buying, keep holding, in the hopes that this price is coming because so-and-so said so, unknowingly to them that these people are unloading their Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. I mean, look at, if you are investing into cryptocurrency, you are more likely that you are holding bags that you wish you didn't sell back in December, January, February, 2018, uh, but you didn't sell because you probably believed some of these predictions. Uh, that's the reason people are actually holding cryptocurrency from 2017, December, November, January 2018, February 2018, until about May of 2018. Why? Because of this type of prediction. Be very careful with price prediction, guys. As you can see, no one is getting it right, but it could be a misleading uh, thing because you do need people. Someone needs to be holding Bitcoin and someone needs to be buying Bitcoin at very high prices in order for them to be at that level in order for other individuals to be selling and profiting out of it. Now, looking at the cryptocurrency market, currently sitting at 129 million. Go back to 2017, the cryptocurrency market reached a peak of 900 billion. Now, that's nearly 800 billion gone from the, you know, from the market. Where they've gone? Well, they've gone to these people pockets many of whom predicted Bitcoin to be worth a lot more than 20k and many of whom sold at 20k. That's all I wanted to say, guys. Uh, in terms of the Bitcoin price, I don't know where it's going to be. If you ask me about my strategy, I've said it before and I'm just going to quickly repeat it. I'm not saying you should do it. It's no financial advice. Just don't be greedy when it comes to cryptocurrency. If you want to profit out of it, set a, set a certain amount of price. Start selling slowly at that price. Uh, obviously, don't sell at once. Well, if you're happy where Bitcoin is and you just want to cash out, it's all good. But if that's not the case, sell at portions. Just be smart about it. Don't be too greedy and it's likely you won't regret it. Now, if you're too greedy and you just keep holding because someone said so, you could be regretting in a few years down the line, you could still be holding Bitcoin at a lot lower price than, let's say, what we may reach at the next bull run. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. All the articles will be down below. See you in the next one. Bye for now and be smart.